everyone welcome back to the channel this is emma and georgia and today we are watching never have i ever season 4 episode 3 if you want to watch our uncut seats reactions link to the patrons down below last episode davy was trying to get her revenge on margot because she thought that she was the one that spray painted bits on her car so davy's mom got involved and went down to the school but Margot lied and said she had an alibi and then Davy found out it was fake and reported her. But in the end, it all turned out that Ethan was the one that spray painted it because he thought it was the Spanish teacher's car. So stupid. Like, if we, we don't have a good vibe of Ethan. I don't know how many Ethan, like, stands we've got in the comments, but so far, our impression of him hasn't been good. Um, and I don't know, like... We've said this before, I just don't see Davy with anyone other than Ben or Paxton. Like, I just don't vibe with her with anybody else. I know. Yeah. I just, I just not. I mean, we, we, we're going to see more of him. We've only just been introduced to him, so we're going to see more. So my opinion might change, but so far, not really into her and Ethan. And I, I can predict they're going to get a lot closer. Um, and I don't really trust him, especially as he just spray paints cars willy nilly. So, Daisy didn't even vibes. seem like she was interested either. Like when Eleanor was fawning over him, she was just rolling her eyes, and I was like, "Yes, Daisy, same." But then when yeah. he said he found it hot, she's immediately like, "Oh, okay." As soon as the boy, any boy gives her slight romantic attention, she's like all ears. She's like, "Okay, he's attractive to me now." Like Daisy, come on. You're better mm. than this. I can think of people that were like that when they were a teenager, so... Yeah, that off. is the thing. Like, when you're a teenager at that age, like, any boy attention is going to be, like, really good and you just want to chase it. So I can I can understand where Davey is coming from there. But as the adults here now, we're like, just please no. <laughs> like A few years down the line, Davey will be wanting to run away from any boy that tries to speak to her. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, that's just... Karma horse is here, you know, you've got time, like, you've met even for a day. Let's not get ridiculous now. And compromise your friendship with Eleanor, like... Yeah, I'm worried I don't, about that. I'm really worried because, like I said last episode, I really don't want them to break up the friendship again because when they did that, it was terrible and unbearable to watch. And I don't want a boy to get in between them. Like, it's so silly, like... It's a shame. Their friendship means a lot more than just a boy. Yeah, I wonder what Eleanor will do when she finds out. And also Fabiola made a breakthrough with her robotics team and it looks like she's going to be cracking the whip on them and making them not be so misogynistic towards girls that want to join their club and acting like they know better when clearly they don't. <laughs> no. So um, she is going to provide a space for everyone of all all kinds of people to be able to learn so oh, it's like that's how it should be you know you want all kinds of people like it's interesting that way you don't want a bunch of sweaty boy teenagers trying to be alpha males like it's it's just not a good vibe and no one would want to uh, join that club if they didn't feel like they would be appreciated there or could relate to anybody so i'm so glad fab took took it by the horns and she really laid down the law and said you know what? we're changing things around here it's going to be way more inclusive and i'm i think it's going to be a rise in people wanting to join the robotics club after this i think I it's so. going to be the talk of the town so yeah yes. detention why am i in detention oh being my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> my textbook Fabulous new books. <laughs> oh my god. Davy, what sort of dream is this? You need to wake up now. <laughs> it's so hot how you're stabbing her in the back. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Started kind of hot, but then turned into a scolding. Not a great sex dream, Davy. Davy, <laughs> come on. I cannot be late this morning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, she right. Okay. Looks like the door might stay if I finally gave way. Oh. I have someone coming this morning. It's not Len, oh. is it? Len recommended a fantastic. <laughs> of course, it's Len. He knows his stuff. 
Len has got Yelp platinum status. You have to leave over 50,000 reviews to get that. That's quite a guy. Oh, it's you. my God, I mean, it's Margot's dad. Do you know each other? Oh my yeah, god! We the principal's office last week. Wait, are they setting up a romance with them? They're gonna set up a romance. It was like, damn, Davy's kind of sexy. Even though Ethan's tattooed torso was a welcome distraction from an absolute. She shit doesn't know that he has a tattoo. Year. Maybe she just she envisioned that in a dream. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yo, oh crotch. my god, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. In the my dick. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't. Oh my god, ew. I guess we're gonna dream the tension about that between now. them is intoxicating, I have to say. Paxton! So I did see you. I wasn't sure. My subconscious has been hornier than usual. Oh, never, never mind. mind. <laughs> Just take me move on. My first day is the assistant swim coach. He is a swim coach! Ah, right, yeah. We predicted! Well, you predicted. <laughs> for real, what are you doing here? I'm the assistant swim coach. We were there for, like, what, two weeks? Oh, what did you say? College isn't for everyone, Davey. You know that, right? I know. I thought you could have given it more time before you, you know, gave up. Oh, thank you for your concern. Well, God, he's this taking is, this oh, to heart. I know what I'm doing. This has got oh. quite bad really quickly. It clearly made him so insecure. See if Ethan takes off his hoodie, because, you know, it's going to cling and pull up his t-shirt. I'm and actually just getting really perfect. Perfect. Cool. I don't really need to see Ethan shirtless. It's happening. Oh my god, it's <laughs> oh <my> happening. <laughs> If Eleanor was Ethan's girlfriend, he'd be officially off limits. Yeah. And Davy's dreams could go back to just but your then, normal teeth. You know, falling out, he might be unfaithful to Eleanor. So you should just ask him out, likes Davey. Really? Maybe I'll invite him to my medieval jestering class tonight. I would pay to see that. <laughs> I I would like to see that too. Go over there and Oh, oh he's really looking. Yeah. Okay, he's I gonna turn go her down. That's worse. This is the first time a boy has so, been interested uh, in Davy and not Eleanor. Yashpalette. Great news because Eleanor here loves to party. Really? Absolutely. All right, I'll see you. Yeah, he's not really vibing with her. Is he? Yeah, he really is set for Davy. It looks like. College sucks, man. Everyone at ASU was a freaking douche, and now that I'm here, it'll be just like old times, except without any homework. That's the dream. Now Trent has someone to hang out with. Davy kind of gave me a hard time about it, and now I'm like, in my head, don't listen to Davy. She like almost killed an old grandma. <laughs> and she hangs out with people <laughs> That is true. Oh, Trent. I definitely don't look up at the sky every night, wondering if Eleanor is looking at the same moon that I am. Aww. And I heard about a huge party tonight. Let's roll in together and show oh them that the king's god. back. Hell yeah, man. It's kind of weird that Paxton's going to a high school party. Yeah, are people going to look at him weirdly now? You're still giving me the silent treatment then? Ben. At the insistence of his girlfriend Margo, Ben hadn't it. spoken to Davy all week. It was written as an allegory about McCarthyism. So, I'd like for you guys to pair <laughs> up and discuss its relevancy today. Um, how about you two pair up? Oh, well this could well, be hard. I said I'm sorry, it was an honest mistake. And in my defense, it really seemed like she messed up my car. That doesn't matter. Ben, Shut up, Ben, you believed her. Margo didn't get trouble you believed in my car her. Fit, Come on. on. This is just how it has to be for now. Let's go to a long, long movie, or I'm dying to see the. What is in the? the oh, he's we fucked everything up. What are you talking about? Oh, he took down the whole stairwell. My God! Have you story the stranger I hired? Put them in the trash. <laughs> Andres? So, um, it turns out that one step was the least of your problems. So it was necessary for your family's safety. Oh, see, I'd be worried about your own safety if I were you. Uh, okay, before you send your husband after me, oh, let no, me no, just... See, there is no husband. I'm perfectly capable of slapping someone on my own. I wonder if he's gonna be like <laughs> Ethan and he likes it null and he shouts at him all the time. Maybe! I feel like this is like an older version! Hey. Oh, oh hello, how are you? Good. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Trent is being very good right now, trying to act like he doesn't care. Yeah, it, it was nice yeah. to talk. Yeah, <laughs> Have you talked to Ethan yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Isn't this his party? Go out there and find him. No. Hey, I'm glad you all made it. Ah! Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah. Very oh, yeah. touchy feely, isn't it? I kind of want to take a lap anyways, you know. I'll let my homies go take a pee. Who knows? Okay, you guys get it. <laughs> See you in a bit. Talking way too much. She's playing it cool with him and he probably likes it. Back, dude? It's freaking dope, man. You're a legend. Yeah, it's me, See, man. See, people appreciate him, man. Oh, I do. Let's freaking party, asshole! <laughs> Is it cool 
if I chill with you? No, no, okay. I chill with Eleanor. So, Eleanor is pretty cool, huh? I guess. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, no, this is big. Wanna make out? Oh no! Davey, say no! Say oh god, oh, it's too late. For God's sake. Well, no control whatsoever. Oh my god, we sound as disappointed as the narrator. Oh. Here oh, we go. Hey, Here we go. No, no, we were actually just talking about you. <laughs> we were actually just talking about you. Yeah, well, I was kissing your best friend. I Likes me. He's been sending me vibes all week, and I try to stay away from it out of loyalty to you. But he kissed me. Cool story. He kissed me too. Whoa! Huh? Fifteen minutes ago, <gasps> right by the fridge, he also kissed me. Oh my what? God! What kind of person leaves on two different people at the same party? Never mind. I am hearing it. Just caught Davy kissing Ethan. What? But you were just kissing Ethan by the fridge. Oh, you kissed him so both. Oh my god, I hate I people like him. I know. Don't it's be so mad at each other. Be mad at him. Never let a guy come between us before. And I get that it helps that I'm not attracted to any guys. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good, like, middle ground here to mediate. He's dead to me. I've already forgotten how good of a kisser he is. Yeah, I guess I can avoid him too. Great! Yeah, this is a the better idea, but this isn't gonna last, is it? it it's gonna be harder for Davy because he keeps approaching her. So it turns out he's a bit of a fuckboy. <laughs> I could tell that from one look at him. <laughs> This joker, it's been five days without steps. Five days? I'm not surprised he scammed us. He said, his whole family he, said he was going to do it the next morning. I've heard, I've heard nothing. Auntie, I'm looking at his Instagram and it looks like he's at another job. Oh, he's busy. I actually just finished college and I'm excited to educate some young minds. Oh no, don't tell me that her and Paxton are going to be a thing. Overheard some of my swimmers saying that the cricket might have been borrowed for a non-school related beer party that you were at it might be <laughs> under the bleachers i'm lindsay so you used to go here oh yeah i just graduated cool it must be crazy coming back to your high school as a teacher mm, not really it's basically the same it won't be i'm not really worried about that he's going in with confidence right weird but i, I don't I think it's gonna be as bit. he's okay. expecting well, good for you i've successfully avoided ethan all week good at school. for you davy but like most hot guys Ethan was blissfully unaware of the drama surrounding him. I found out that you kissed my best friend right before you kissed me. Oh, shit. You found out about that? Listen, I, I didn't plan it, but I saw you sitting outside and I was like... So it was yeah, a pity kiss. I kiss her right now. Yeah, but you weren't interested in Eleanor, so why kiss her yeah. first? This logic is flawless. No, it's not! <laughs> no, it's not! I'm in the parking lot doing lunch. I'll be skating. I'll do a trick for you. Is that like the pickup line for high schoolers <laughs> at the moment? I'll do a trick for you. I think I'll just sit back here so that Davy doesn't try to make conversation with me today. Babe, you know I don't That's care about that, right? What? This whole silent treatment thing was your idea. I know because it's just <gasps> this way. Oh, you are crying on the inside, aren't you? You're such a Ben Stan. Oh my God, Ben! Well, that was a good Ben's punch doing this out of his one. own free Someone's will. Self-esteem might need a little skater boy pick me up. No, things are taking a turn for the ultimate worst. Eleanor's gonna really show up in a second. Eleanor is right. He always catches a wind. Eleanor. Oh. What are you doing here? I'm gonna hang out with Ethan after you promised me you wouldn't. So, so are you apparently. Uh, nah. The person who took my virginity ditched me for someone else and won't even speak to me. And frankly, yeah. In fairness, Eleanor, you have something really real good to try. <laughs> Kiss somebody already? Oh, oh Trent! Oh no! What is you going on? This... What, what oh my god, doing? she's doing a TikTok expose. Like a refractor split. This man behind me has left a multi-generational household of women stairless for nearly a week. I assumed you were divorced because of your Ooh. personality. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm not unprofessional, okay? I just happen to be a little spiteful. I promise I'll be there first thing tomorrow. Ethan, he's yours. I don't even really like him. I think I just missed Trent and wanted a distraction. You should have seen the way he looked today after he heard that I kissed Ethan. He would have you back in a shot. Come on, Ellen, of course he would. I bet he misses you just as much as you miss him. I know, Trent would literally be thrilled to know that Eleanor is thinking about getting back with him. I wonder if we're both looking at the moon at the same time. Oh, they both do the same sorry. thing. Uh, they're so in tune with one another. Like, they're literally the same. Yeah. It's not great. You have my official blessing. <laughs> oh, I'm glad this didn't last. This Thanks, Elf. weirdness really friend, between them. Has she completely forgotten about me? 
No, it's well, about the time we Lady and the Tramp that sour straw? Did that mean nothing to <laughs> you? I'm so sorry. But it turns out he's actually working at the school. Oh, it's like, people making like fun of him. Oh, yeah. it's already started. Kids said you like flew through the air and they thought you were dead. Did you car or? Oh, yeah, I just, you know, want to make sure you're okay. Maybe you wanted to hang out. Okay. Only if you don't kiss my friends, though. Prefer being the only person you're kissing. Okay, tough, but fair. <laughs> Maybe like a foot over the summer? Yeah, dude. She noticed. Now and girls are all over you. Girls are into me now. Girls always love the tall guys. <sighs> Sorry, I just can't back it. All I can say is I hope they give him more personality this than is just too being weird hot. for me. Yeah, I really hope they give him more depth than just being the hot guy. I know, he his whole personality is a popular guy and a bad boy. That is his whole personality. There's no substance so far. I know. Like I I need kind of more than me. that, please. I can't... Like, him and Davey seem to have sexual chemistry, but they have nothing else at this point. Like, she doesn't really know him at all. No, well, maybe because he, he said he wants to hang out, so maybe she gets to know each other, gets to know him more and vice versa so maybe it's a good idea but i don't know davy it just seems a bit ugh, not right i don't know there's something about it that i'm just not quite vibing with yet it's, i don't know it's gave her because... consent but um yeah she did i don't know i think it's because i don't like him very much yeah and uh, mm. we don't know much about him um so i think that's why i'm not like a big fan of it because with paxton and ben we know a lot about both of them so it's it's much easier to ship her with one of them, but with Ethan, we've met him for like two apps, hardly seen him much, and he's not shown too often, and he doesn't speak much other than kissing. So yeah, it's there's not a lot there for us to go on, and I can't really ship it at the moment. I might, but right now, no, I'm not vibing with it. Oh god, I feel like people are gonna like attack us. Like, but For some reason I think he's it. gonna be a fan favourite and I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't see it at this point. Maybe because he's like the classic bad boy TikTok teenager that does all those cringy ass dance moves that people love. I don't know. You I'm see it, you keep things. saying that, but he does not look like he would do TikToks to me. I don't know. He does so much! So much he's a bad boy i don't think he'd be doing tiktok dances he reminds me of like those really cringe like clout houses where they're like all in a house together and doing tiktoks like the clout house or something oh, i just want something with paxton so bad maybe like <laughs> that's insulted not him happening. at the start i'm and... certain of it at oh. this point i think that ship has sailed no, surely there's hope. Surely there's hope. Oh god, he, they won't bring him back for no reason. There's gotta be a reason. They brought him back so they can still be the show. He's, it's gonna be really boring if he's just a teacher and does nothing else. Like, like it's, there's well, no I drama there. I think he's gonna there. get with that other teacher. Yeah, he might do. Oh god, it's gonna be lame though. They can't have had flitting between Dave, Ben and Paxton forever. Yeah. Um, Again, not too amazed that they brought in someone else. I know, and but, also, Ben um, is kind of like bad this episode. Like, can you still like him and Davy after what he did? Literally doing it on his own, the silent treatment. Well, what I think is that he's doing this because he doesn't trust himself. I this think this is wishful thinking to a whole new level. Likes we don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll get another Ben episode this season and it'll explain everything, but I think he's staying away from her because he realises that Margot was right and he did believe Davy over his own girlfriend. And he's somehow managed to convince himself that Davy is bad for him, so he doesn't trust himself to stray away from his girlfriend and so he's staying he away. But girl. I don't like that he's doing it. He came up with it? Like, Margot seemed so chill. I know. And then oh that hurt. yeah like he did it all on his own account i we we obviously assume margot told him to not talk to davy but i didn't realize he said that she said that as well. yeah i didn't realize ben had a nasty streak in him god i'm surprised i like i feel like my respect for him has grown a little bit that he actually did that himself it's grown 
I oh, oh I didn't have much respect for him to begin with, but I feel like I do now that he's actually chosen this path and sticking to it, I suppose. But maybe space between them is a good thing. If he really does have feelings for Davy, like you might you have theorised, then maybe it's a good thing. Well then, I never thought I'd hear you say that. I don't like him. Like <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I just have a bit of respect for him now. And Paxton, bless him, I knew it would be only a matter of time before people saw him as the teacher that he is because he can't be a high schooler forever and be the cool one. Um, and also, you, once you leave school, you don't want to hang around with high school kids. Like You realise how childish people can be. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's weird because he's only like, the sa he's got the same amount of age gap to them as he did before. But now because you're expected to just move on and move away when you finish school people think he's sad for coming back but i think it's respectable that he's come back and found a job immediately i know very quickly as well um i think yeah i think it's good that he's pursuing something that he likes instead of having a terrible time at uni when there is something out there for him and he loves swimming so this seems to be like the perfect sort of option for him and yeah, I mean, he could have gone to a different school and been a swimming coach, but, you know, for the show, they brought him back to the school he was a attended at. So, yeah, I think, like, high schoolers will be, like, rude, you know, the sort of the stigma with it. So you're going to get people that are going to be little assholes. But that that supply teacher told him in advance so he knew that it happens <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah uh he's just gonna have to get used to it where no matter where he is whether he's at uni or here it's he's never gonna be the same high schooler as he was he's gonna grow up. and i hope he didn't just leave the university because he wasn't popular i hope it was more than that can you imagine you've um, got to be so vain to think oh my god i'm not popular i need to quit this and do something different like surely yeah. not that's why i kind of get where david was coming from saying like it's only been two weeks i thought you would have given it more of a shot than that because two weeks is nothing it um, is it's nothing like, yeah you'd think you'd at least give it a term or something like that before quitting but if he was so miserable there, then that's fair enough. But I just hope he doesn't become miserable here as well because he's not got the same status as he used to have. I know. I think he's, you know, you're you're in like a graduate from high school. You've got the whole world ahead of you and it's going to be daunting in those first few years, not knowing what you're going to do, what path you're going to go down. So this is a lot of trial and error for Paxton going forward. So... You know, you've got to try these things. Some of them don't work out and that's okay. So you try something else. So all of this is a learning curve and maybe this will be the thing that he sticks to. But yeah, there is a lot of pressure on young people to decide what career path they want to do. You know, it's a lot to think about when you're, you know, just like coming out of your teenage years and yeah i feel for paxton that's it for today guys thank you for watching our reaction to season four episode three of never have i ever if you want to watch our uncut reactions to never have i ever the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode four bye, bye.